Kudo once again. My name is Graphics. Now, if you look at the right corner of your screen, you see a question that has been displayed. On top of it, we have the elevation. Below it, we have the plan. Now, to ensure your understanding, I have replicated the diagram here. Right? Now, we want to see how we can draw this. Now, if you look at this, this is the plan and this is the this is the plan and this is what the elevation right now first of all the first thing first of all do is to try start drawing from the plan and we are told that the plan as is the hexagonal in shape place an x here h e x e just like what you can see here you can see that h e x means hexagon 60 across flat a slash f means across flat right so we we'll draw an hexagon 60 millimeter across flat so let's move back there now the first thing you do is to take your t square right and draw a straight line faint line straight this way and you take your set square and you pick a point let's say this point here right and you move your set square on your t square until you get to that point that you marked then on that point you're going to mark your vertical line let's say this is where it is meeting right so where it meets since we are told 60 millimeter across flat, you go to your meter rule this way, and uh, you are going to measure half of 60, which is 30, right? And you place it at this point where they intersect, and you draw your circle with faint line. You can see that I have drawn my circle with faint line, and we are told it is hexagon across flat. Means that you are going to use 60 degree to construct your hexagon, and it will be the circle will be inside the hexagon. Now what I will do is when your T square is standing this way, this edge is 60 degree. So I'm going to slide this T, T square until I get to a point whereby the line will be tangential to the circumference of the circle so this circumference of the circle and I'm going to draw a line this way you can see that it will be what intersecting just on the circumference of the circle so it's tangential so let's go back to where we are now I will also move this to the other part and ensure it is also what tangential to that point you can see that now in doing that I will turn my C square my C square to the other way around where I will do the same thing now this time I'm going to target this point here right target this point that is inclined intersecting at the horizontal line I'll target it so if I move it to that point now you discover that we'll be having something like this. So they are going to what? Meet. Ensuring that it is still tangential to the edge of my circle, the circumference of my circle. And I'll move it to the right part also. I'll target this point. Then I'm going to draw this way. Now what I've done now, I've drawn those two. Then I'll now move my T square on the edge of my drawing board. I'll move it until it is touching the circumference of the circle and I'll draw a line and I'll thicken it. Alright, this is the first one, I'll thicken it. I'll move to the other one also. Ensure that it is tangential to it. I'll also what? I'll thicken it. It's thicken. Now I'll take my meter rule. I'll thicken all the lines I have 
this way to create the hexagon. This 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 now what I've done is I have successfully drawn my hexagon which is what I have here you see I have replicated this across flats so this is what we have there now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to project all these points upward right so let's project it upward and see so with the help of my T square and my C square and I'm going to project all this point upward so let's project it up the first point here I'll project it up I'll project it up the other point I'll project it up the other point also I'll project it up And here also I'm going to project it up. Now this is what we have, right? So let me just take this up a little bit so we understand what we are trying to talk about. Right? So in doing that we'll just take any distance and just draw our horizontal line thickened ensure it's not touching our main plan we are done this is the plan and we are trying to draw the elevation right so the next thing we we'll do is um, the height of that our plan is giving us 100 if you watch from here from this point to this point here is 100 is 100 right so I'll measure 100 with my meter rule and see how that goes. So I'll start from 0 to 10. This is 10. But the baseline here is where I'm starting from. 10. So 10 to 0 is 100. And this is 0 here. This is my 100. And I'm going to tick in it. I'll tick in it. That's what I have. And I will move my T square to go and close it up. So move my T square. I'll close it up. Right? Now in doing that, if you look at this very well, we have another circle of a 40 millimeter diameter, an hexagon that is penetrating it at an angle of what? 30 degree. But the funniest thing here is, we are not given the height at which the intersection is starting from. In some questions, they might tell you from here to here is a certain distance. But since we are not given the certain distance here, what we will do, we will just take the center of this cylinder here. Since it is 100, it means that the center is what? 50. So I am going to measure half of it, 50. I will measure half of it, 50. So from 5. To zero is fifty, so that is half of hundred. And I will now take my C square and I'll place it on my T square, right? I will put it this way at an angle of what thirty degree, right? I'll just draw a front line out first. You can see that. So in doing that, I've gotten this point I want. But we are told that the one penetrating the bigger one has a diameter of 40 across flat, right? So hexagon across flat. So I'll just take my. In some cases, we'll be giving the distance from here to here, right? But since we're not giving, we'll just assume any distance of our choice. So any distance of the choice is welcomed. So from here, I'll just place my. C square on my T square this way and I'm going to draw a line this way 
right since the distance is not given so let's draw a line this way and this is the center of the line right now it is told we are told that uh, it is 40 millimeter 40 across flat right and i'll take half of it which is 20 and i'm going to measure 20 i'll measure 20 from 0 to 2 is 20 right and i'll place it here i'm going to mark 20 to the right and 20 to the left like this so what i'm getting to the main the aim is if you have to draw this line ensure the line is what 90 degree to this inclined line so it is 90 so i will use this and i'm going to connect this point on my t square i'll connect this point to this point here like this right i'll move this also to this point i'll connect this point to this point also right then i'll close it up you must ensure that this is parallel to this what you used to draw this you used to draw this and this then there must be 90 degrees to what to each other then i'm going to close here up so in closing here up i'll be having this this way so i'll draw this this way right so let's see that so I'll just close here up Close it up and I'll also close it up also. You see that? Now I have successfully drawn this that I have. Like I told you, the distance from here to here varies depending on how you the distance you want to choose. So I choose any distance of my choice, right? Except it is stated. Now what I'll do is I've replicated, I want to draw this here. Don't forget they are the same diagram, both the elevation and the plan. So I'll just project this down so that I can get this. So let's do that and see. So if I project that down, I'll be getting this, this way. So let's project it down. So if I bring this from here, I'm taking it down. Right. I'm taking it down. I'll come here also. I'll take it down. I'll come here too. I'll take it down. Right? Then, since here is 40 in the question, it means here also is 40. What I'm trying to make you understand here is this. Since here is 40, it means here also is what is 40. So I'm going to take my compass and my rule. Or better still, I can use this distance from here to here, which is half of it, 20, right? And I'll place it at this point, this center point here. I'm going to mark 20, 20. You can see that? So in doing that, I'll just move my... Um, let me show you what I'm trying to say. 20, 20. You can see that? So I'll just from here. I'll take in the line from this point to this point. I'll stop here. I see that. I'll come here also. I'll take in the line from this point to this point. I'll stop at the circumference here. Is that again? Now the next thing I'm going to do is if you notice that if you're looking in from the top, you see that there's something here, and this is what you'll be seeing from the top. It is facing up. Right? So what we are actually going to do here is that I'm going to draw a circle in front of this and I'll draw a circle in front of this so that I'll get my arc of what? Interpenetration. We are looking for the arc of what? Interpenetration. So I will use the same measurement which is what? 40. Right? And I'll place it at this point here. This we see from here is 20 then everything is 40 so I'll place it here. And I'm going to draw my circle this way. I'll give it a space. So I'll draw my circle this way. Right? And I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing here. I'll draw my circle this way too. So that's what we have here. Now, we know that it is meeting at this point. And it is meeting at this point too. 
So you just move your T square. Now, initially, when you wanted to do this, you still do it this way, right? But if you want to do this, you make it sit down, right? So I'll come here, I'll make it sit, and I'm going to draw my line, touching the circumference. I'll move it to the top two. I'll draw my line, touching the circumference. Then I'll turn it the other way also, facing left and right. I'll do it so it will touch the circumference. And I'll move it also to touch the circumference. Right? So I'll now stand this. I'll use my faint line. So this will come and touch here. And this will come and touch here. So this is what we have. So I can say this is um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Right? It's not anything. So this is what we have here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to project it to touch the circumference of this. So this will move. Let's start. Um, this is going to move from here. Let's see, to move from here to here. So that means this will move from here to this point, and this will move from here to this point. Right? So it means that we don't actually need this. We don't what? We don't need this. So we're going to delete this. So let's delete it and see. So in deleting it, this is what we have. So what I'm actually supposed to take here is from this point to this point. And here is from this point to this point. All together. So I'm going to project all those points here. All this will come from here to this point. And all this will come from here to this point. So this is what we have here. Now the same thing we apply the same thing here. But in this case, if I want to draw my cross flat here, this is what I'll do. I will take my C square, right? And this will be in the same level as this. And this will be in the same level as this. Now, then the next thing you just move your C square. You stand it this time, right? So you stand it. When you stand it this way, you have um, this. You see that? And you move it to the other point too. You have it this way. This. Right? Now, the next thing you're going to do is you use your T-square and move it to this point. You move it to this point. Let's move this to this point. Now this, move this to this point too. You have this, and you don't have to take in them. So initially, if you look at the plan here, if you look at the plan here, right? We said this is starting from this edge here. We said this is zero, right? The word you notice, this will not be our zero, one, two, three, two, one, zero. So what you do is you just need to project all these points to touch the circumference of the circle here. So let's project, let's project it. So in projecting it from this point here, I've already done it to this point. From this point too, I've already done it here. 
so you take them up how you take them up you take them up this way by just placing your t square on your your set square your t square and you take them up you're taking them up i'll have this right and if i take this other point up too i'm going to have this so then i'm going to project now where they meet now watch this line here is coming down like this this line here too is coming down like this so where one meets one this is line one right it's meeting it here one because one and two on the same line so where two also meets two is still on the same line so we have this just this point here this right this this and this so this is what we just have here these two points here so i'll just use my metal rule and i'm going to join it together So this is our interpenetrating arc that we are going to be drawing. If you now notice, after connecting the interpenetrating arc, the next thing we have to do is, these are these points here, you join these points together. Where 0 meets 0, you join it, so we have something just like this. This point, we meet this point here. Right, 0 is meeting zero one one is meeting what this is line one coming down so I'll join them together and this here and this here also and these two and then this also right so this is what we have this is what we what we have. So this will be faint. This will be faint. This is what they want us to do. This is how the plan will look like, and this is how the interpenetrating arc of two hexagonal pipe coming in together. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.